The following program is sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack, dealer 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. Regional Planning Commission meeting, July 15, 2020. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'm concerned that you haven't set up the PA system. Taxpayers pay thousands of dollars. There's some people who don't speak loudly. And if there's uh, some, of the people, some of the people in the community that are at this meeting that can't hear you properly, you have a problem. Mr. Chairman, today at 226, I received a call from a concerned citizen regarding the house at 318 Lee Avenue. They wanted to know who uh, to call in regards to an unsecured and attractive nuisance. He observed kids going in and out of the back house entrance, which is open. I told him to call Jennifer Lee at City Hall. He called back and stated no one would talk to him. Our recording told him to write a complaint and submit it. I told him to call the sheriff's office, and he stated he did that earlier, and nothing happened. Mr. Chairman, I want to remind you that I reported on June 17, 2020, that this house at 318 Eady Avenue is being completely remodeled, new roof, windows, siding, Gutted inside, possibly in wiring and sheetrock. There was not a permit posted as required. I asked who was the owner, who, if anyone applied for a permit, when was it granted? The house is approximately 100 to 150 feet from planning board member Leah Brown's property on the corner of Ely Avenue and Center Street. A day later, a work, uh, stop work order placard was posted on the front window. Was the citation issued? Who issued it? and to who was they given it to? Why was, not, why was the structure not secured at the time? Mr. Chairman, that's pretty sloppy. I'm putting you on notice that you have a liability there and you need to address it. Mr. Chairman, on your agenda item B, C, and D, the requirements for home occupation are the same for the city and the county applicants. However, some are being charged $25 for the application, others are being charged $75. Some have provided their state of Nevada business license and some have not. No one has shown proof of legal ownership or written permission from the legal owner to run the business. One was granted a city business license without the first coming to the Regional Planning Commission, then to the City of Ely. How can you consider these items without having all the required information? Again, we, we have rules and regulations, or we don't. You gotta treat everybody the same, and you're not. Mr. Chairman, the new parking lot designed for the convention center <coughs> does not meet the uh, minimum AD requirements. The center walkway has not been put back to keep pedestrians off the street, especially those on wheelchairs. The center walkway needs to be replaced. Again, who designed the fiasco? Who approved it? <coughs> who was inspecting it? At least four three lights within a block of the center have been, put, have been out for six months to a year. That does not leave a good impression for the downtown area. I reported that concern to the city clerk Lee over a year ago. Some of the people, some of these people don't have any skin in the game. Time, George. I do. Up, George. My business neighbors do. You people need to address that. That's time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, George. Other uh, public comments? Okay. Um, And then, and then heard, we'll go on with the uh, first item, item A. Public hearing, 
decisions for proposed application for reclassification and property zoning. Applicants are requested, requesting the property be changed from RA 2.5 zone, Ranch Agricultural District 2.5 acre, to RA 1 zone, Ranch Agricultural District 1 acre. Property address and or general location is 302 Rodeo Drive, Section 14, Township 16 North, Range 63 East, and the B and M, Ely, Nevada. The assessor parcel number is 01460-30. Applicants are Kevin and Patricia Warren. Do we have any public, anyone representing? Yes, I submitted the application for that long change to build a house on a portion of that property. Right. Larry Summerall. Yeah, we saw a breakdown on that. So, basically you're just breaking off one acre out of the parcel, which is nothing unusual for the area because there are one acre parcels in that whole area. Yeah, out of the area, there's 50 parcels in that area, and 20 of them are one acre, or less than the 2.5. Okay. I'll move that we grant the change. We have to go from public hearing to the actual agenda item. Oh, yeah, just double check. Yeah, this is public hearing. Sorry to raise the voice, any concerns, and have support. So, probably a good idea on these is to see if the building inspector or his department has an input on them, in addition to the paperwork that's submitted, which I believe that they said that there's a recommendation to grant this. So, if you're inclined to do that. Okay. Brad, do you have the... Do you have something for us, Brad? What this is, we've got some other parcels that are down in that area. They're actually zoned incorrectly. They're one acre already. So, we'll probably follow up and get a hold of them and have them try to convince them to change their zoning to this, this RA1. There's actually probably more down there that are one acre than are two and a half or greater. So, what it'll do is this. It'll end up being two parcels. He has a little over three acres right now, 3.08, I think it is. So, they'll split that, which you'll have to have a map done. Right, right. And then both of those parcels then would be an RA1 because neither one now would meet the RA2.5. Right. Okay? Okay. That's great. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. So, I guess we will go to... George has a question. Any other input on that? We will go to discussion of possible action. George? Did you not see my hand, sir? Go ahead, George. If this is granted, is that individual tying on to Cindy Sulamar? No. No, we need to know that. This is... No, this is... No, there is no city water down there. Okay. I have property down that area, and I've had friends in that area that tried to build in the past, and they couldn't unless they could hook up to Cindy Sulamar. The county for years, and Cindy as well, has not reduced the requirement for 2.5. Hundreds of people, not hundreds, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people were not able to build in the years past, and unless this parcel and the rest of them hook up to Cindy Sulamar, I'm against it. You've got to be consistent with what you've done in the past. You've got to be consistent with fairness, and you haven't been. Point of clarification. I've got to attest to that. Sorry, point of clarification, Brad. Didn't mean to commit this. This is on the east side of the railroad tracks, is that correct? The northeast side of the railroad tracks. Yes. And that, the railroad tracks, from what I understand, is the boundary line for the city and the county, is that correct? In this case, yes. George, the property that you are talking about, is it not on the west, southwest side of the railroad tracks in the city? I'm talking about this property here. I understand that. Okay. But 
it would be very impossible to hook up to city of water if it's not in the city. Is that well, correct? no, I understand that. But the requirement for the county has been for years, two and a half acres. I've seen a lot of growth stunted because of that. Okay. And that's what I'm trying to say now. So is the zone, are the zoning requirements, Brad, do they require city water connect? No. 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 As long as you have to pay for 2.5. So no. I'm not sure what the, what, what the confusion is. Well, if you cut it down to one acre, uh, you're not in compliance with the uh, county regulations, a requirement of two and a half acres. That's not true. That's not true. George, let's straighten this out. So yeah, all we're I need doing to know that. is just converting it from a 2.5 to a 1. We are not saying that the 1 requires water water from the city to do it. What are you going to do with the 2.8 then? It can be sold. The, the two, yeah, the 2.8, is it's been separated out. It has to be a minimum of 1 acre. I understand that. Be. But the, uh, the standard for the county has always been minimum two and a half to build on. That's my only concern. With the exception, if you tie it on to city sewer and water, and you're not doing that from what I understand. Uh, there's there's no ordinances or uh, Well, okay, I, I object because you've turned people down in the past, and it's not fair to those. Okay, well, we're, we're just following what, what they specifically say now. So you can't come back and bring that up again because unfortunately, if it's not spelled out the way it should be, the way it is spelled out, like it is, it does not say anything about getting water or requiring water at that point. Check the rules and the regulations. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Okay. You had homes up in the Mineral Heights Division, uh, Gordon's properties could not go under two and a half acres. You had people out in the Cross Timbers area. Same thing. That's not fair. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. What, what, did you have any other questions for me? Uh, anything else to add, Brad? I, this is not creating any any unusual precedent for the area. No. no. And then is the sewer going to be tied to the existing house? Are you going to tap into the septic line? No, there's there? no sewer out there. You, you won't, they won't be able to. I mean, I'm talking to the septic line. You're doing a separate septic? Yes. Yeah. And we are not drastically changing the zoning. It's still residential agricultural. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we, we jump straight into uh, this petition for possible action. Um, and again, approval of proposed application for reclassification of property zoning applicants regarding property to be changed, RA 2.5 zone, ranch agri agricultural 2.5 acre, to RA 1 zone, ranch agricultural district uh, 1 acre, property address, general location, 302 Rodeo Drive, section 14, township 16 north, range 63 east, MDB and M, uh, Ely, Nevada, assessor parcel number 01, Dash four six zero dash thirty applicants are to Kevin and Patricia Warren. Uh, any additional discussion? The only thing I'm going to add is that we have a terrible shortage of homes. I support this one hundred percent. We're uh, lacking a lot of uh, rental and purchasable properties. It's affecting our community and it's, an effect, it's affecting the state government right now and how it's impacting our county. And we're going to be losing people because we can't put, house, put them in houses. So I do, I move that we accept this change. Uh, I have one comment. Sure. Because of the fact that there's already a lot of one acre out there and all we're doing is following that and what if we do this tonight that's going to give those other property owners the opportunity to do the same thing. So we could increase the number of housing out there that's going to be an asset to the county and the city as well. Exactly. So, and I'm in favor of it also. Have, have we had any, um, well, is there any issues with like uh, drilling a well, like residential drilling a well for this? No. Everything is okay for no. We've already talked to the state and... Because I do know it is within the city 
water uh, well permit area, right? Mm -hmm. I was talking to Carson City, and they said I can go ahead and do what.